<laughs> Meet Mason. Mason is a 26 year old who is suffering from stress and anxiety. This is additionally making him very irritable. Oh, what the? Mm, I love this ad. Yes. And drowsy. Babe. Babe, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. What's wrong? I think you should talk to a doctor. Welcome to our office. Have a seat. So what were you doing here today? Um, recently I've been very irritable and drowsy. Mm -hmm. We think you're suffering from PTSD. Some of these symptoms include drowsiness, irritability, stress, and anxiety. We're actually conducting a study right now to see if lucid dreaming therapy can help PTSD patients suffering from nightmares. Would you be interested in joining? Yeah, sure. Sounds interesting. Right this way. You can take a seat with our location. Bradley will explain how this study is going to work. You guys and 29 other patients will be meeting with us weekly to learn how to lose a dream. <laughs> Over the course of these six weeks, you guys will be responsible for keeping a dream journal where you record these interactions. We will evaluate your stress and anxiety before and after the six weeks to measure the effectiveness. I might as well see what this article is about. It says here, that lucid dreaming is defined as the learned awareness of being in a dream. In addition to this awareness, the dreamer gains the ability to control the dream's content. From a therapy perspective, learning this technique will allow the dreamer to actively alter the storylines of their nightmares, promoting better sleep. Rate your anxiety on a level of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. Hmm. 8. 8. Now rate your stress on a scale of 1 to 10. And being the worst. Eight. 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 Rate your drowsiness <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, with ten being the worst. I'm gonna have to go with eight. Eight. And now rate the severity of your nightmares on a scale of one to ten, ten being the worst. Eight. Okay. Eight. eight. Rate your stress on a scale of one to ten, ten being the worst. Probably two. Two. Rate your anxiety on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. <laughs> Probably about a 2. 2. <laughs> Rate your drowsiness on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. 2. 2. Rate your nightmares on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. 8. 8. <laughs> we found that there was a decreased level of stress and anxiety, but however, the lucid dreaming did not have an effect on the nightmare severity. 